Uh, let me explain the question first. People with albinism have little pigment in their skin, eyes, and hairs. And the gene that governs albinism has two forms called alleles, which we denote by type A, the small a, and the capital A. Each person has a pair of these alleles, one inherited from each parent. A child inherits one of each uh, parent's two alleles independent with probability 0.5. Albinism is a recessive trait, so person is albino only if the inherited pair is type AA. Now let's come to the first part of the question in which we have been given some information that Bitt's parents are not albino, but she has an albino brother. This implies that both of Bitt's parents have type A and A, small a, and Y. So here is an answer to this. As per given information, uh, each parent is contributing one allele, so mother, father, as per given information, uh, her brother is albino, so his hair should be having type AA. And one of these A is coming from mother, and the other one is coming from father. And as we've been told that, uh, the parents are not albino. So they couldn't be of type AA, so the other option we are left with is A capital A and capital uh, A. So let's put it in words. I explain it again. As each parent is contributing one allele and he, her brother is having type AA. So one AA is coming from each parent and her, pro her parents are not albino, so they couldn't be of type AA, so the other option is the capital A and capital A. Uh, is they are not albino, so they could not be of type AA, and that's the uh, answer to this question. Uh, let's come to the second part of the question B. Uh, which of the types that are both small a, capital A, small a, and both are capital A's could a child of Bits parents have? And what are their prob corresponding probabilities of these types? As from the last part of the question, we know that each parent has type capital A, small a, and capital A, small a. So let's suppose that this is parent one, mother, and this is father. And from the last, uh, from the information given in the question, that each of these alleles can combine independently with probability 0 0.5. So this means that these capital A and small a are equally likely events. So they can combine with the same probability. So let if suppose uh, capital A is coming from mother and capital A is coming from father, so we can have both capital A, A. Similarly, if capital A is coming from father and small a from mother, so we can have A, A, and this way we can have these all different types. So these are all the different types that a child of Pitt's parents can have. Uh, in the sample space, in terms of sample space, we can put them here as AA, both capital A, capital A, small a, capital A, small a, and both are small a. So this is the relevant sample space. Second part of the question asks what is the probability of each type? So in general, we first define the probability of an event E. Uh, probability of event E equals the counts for the event E in the sample space and total number of counts in the sample space S. So in this case, we have 
four sample points in total in the sample space. So we have three different types, both capital A, capital A small a, and both are small when both are small a's. So let's find the probabilities when we both when we have both is capital A's. So there is only one sample point in this sample space, and its corresponding probability will be one divided by the total number of counts in the sample space, which is four, which are four. So this is one over four, zero point two five. So for the second even when we have capital A type, when we have capital A and small a. Here we have two sample points in the sample space, so its probability is 2 by 4, and it can be written as 0 0.5. And for the last one, then, is when we have type small a a, uh, that is, it's from, we have just one sample point here in this sample space, so 1 divided by 4, and this equals 0 0.25. So, the different types that a child of bit spans can have are both capital A, capital A small a, and when both are small a's. And their corresponding probabilities are 0 0.25 for when we have both capital A's, 0 0.5 when we have capital A and small a, and 0 0.25 when we have both of them small a's. Okay, let's come to the last part C of this question. Uh, we've been told that bit is not albino. What are the conditional probabilities for bit possible genetic types? As from the previous part, we have these are the three different types that a child of bit's parents can have. As here, we've been told that she is not albino. Bit is not albino, so this is not the type for the uh, bit's genetic type. So, bit's Genetic types, possible genetic types are AA or AA. As she is not albino, so this couldn't be her type, genetic type. Second, we've been asked to find out the condition and probability for these diff possible different types. So, first we attempt the to find the conditional probabilities for bits type capital A A, given that she is not albino. Uh, first, we uh, I remind you the can definition of condition probability on the literature you had in your lectures. Probability of A given B. This we call this conditional probability of A given B, and this is mathematically equal to probability of A and B divided by probability of B with the condition that B probability of B is not equal to zero. In this case, we are trying to find out probability for a bit starts being both capital A, A, so probability of A, A given that she is not albino, so not albino means not a A, or we can write it like this, A A, given that A A complement, as not A A means its complements, and we denote that usually by A A's uh, complement. This further can be written as probability of A A and A A C, not A A and divided by probability of not A, A, R, A, A, C. Uh, a, A, a bit is A, A, types, the bit's genetic type is A, A, capital A, A, and she is not small A, A, then it means that her type is A, A, divided by that probability of not being small a a. We need to find out these probabilities. We have this probability from the previous uh, part of the question that is probability of both being capital a a this is equal to 0 0.25. We need to find out this probability. Not 
a small a a so as you know that probability of uh, a complement of any one can be determined by one by subtracting probability of that even from one Uh, that is in this case we have that event a a so we can easily find this probability from the given information uh, here one minus probability of uh, a a this is equal to 0 0.2 pi small a a 0 0.25 and this is equal to 0 0.75 this probability now we have determined this probability, we already had this probability, so just plug in those probabilities in this equation, 0 0.25, this is the probability, 0 0.75 with, the not, with not being albino or a, a complement and this equals 1 over 3. So this is the conditional probability of Beth having genetic type both capital AA given that she is not albino or AA complement. Uh, we can also try this uh, finding this condition probability in a different way. From the last part we were having these three types with four possible outcomes but as we have been told that it is not albino so it should couldn't be of type AA so we can cross this from there were four possibilities and we have now two different types with three possibilities so let me write this as reduced sample space here this R denotes the reduced sample space and we have three sample points in the sample space now after having information that she is not albino and the probability that a a given that she is not albino or a complement can be determined from this reduced sample space in this sample space we have three points instead of four sample points in the original sample space so to find out probability of an event using the same definition of probability number of sample points for this event a a we have just one here right one Number of sample points in the sample space, we have three sample points in this sample space. We write three. And this is the conditional probability uh, of Beth having genetic type, both capital AA, given that she is not albino. Same answer from both methods. So, uh, as Beth couldn't be an, uh, couldn't have uh, a type A and she was having only these two possible types. We found condition probability for her genetic type when she was having both capital A A. Now we find the probability condition probability for the second type that is capital A and small A. All we need to replace is these the second capital A with a small A and some minor changes. Uh, we only need to replace capital A with small a and here is with is of uh, type of capital A small a and she couldn't be of type a a so the only possibility is that she could be of type capital A and small a now here we only need to replace probabilities for to plug in probabilities in this formula of condition probability probability that she is having type capital A and small a and this is 0 .0 0 0.5 so just replace it 0 0.5 probability that she is not albino and or sh she is not of type AA we already determined in the previous part this is 0 0.75 and this equals 2 by 3 so this is the condition probability that she is having type capital A small a given that she is not albino that probability is 2 by 3 now we can attempt this find out this conditional probability using a different method here this was the reduced this is the reduced simple space we need to find out using the definition of probability probability for 
her genetic type being capital A, small a, given that she is not albino. Here in this simple space, we have two simple points for this event to occur. So we write two by the total number of simple points, which are three in this case. So here we get the same answer. Two by three here, two by three here, using two different methods.